All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing a free agent film breakdown on the Giants' newly added defensive tackle, A. Sean Robinson. Or he signed somewhere else, and I'm putting this on the John Boy Media Football channel, but I'm doing this breakdown before the signing actually happened because he visited. So let's talk about him as a player, and we'll break down the film. Obviously a big dude, you know, 6'3", 320 pounds, and he is what he is, a run stuffer. He's a run stuffer with powerful hands. We'll break it all down. But he does have some pass rush ability. He's not going to be known as a pass rusher, but he has the ability to bull rush and push the pocket. Uh, unlike, you know, Nunez Rochas, the, the defensive tackle they signed last week, you know. So I'm going to go through some games from 2022 and the Super Bowl the year before because I thought he played well in that. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe. All that good stuff. So first play, lining up, uh, head up with the tackle, Mike McGlinchey, right here. So you're gonna you just see the strength in his hands. Fires off, and you you see this consistently. Constantly pushing the pads up, getting underneath the pads with his hands, and being able to just hold hold a block off. And then on this, I mean he ends up putting McGlinchey on the ground, shedding, and then making a tackle. Like, you see him do this consistently. Just, he's not going to fire off the ball at a million miles an hour, but he's going to consistently get his hands in guys' chests and pop them up and, and raise their pad level. Next play, lined up right here. Playing the zone. And he's a smart player. Like, he sees what the play is and flows with it. Again, versus Jonah Williams. And he doesn't even have the, the the best leverage or pad level, right? But his strength in his hands allows him to control the block, keep him out of his chest, read, shed, and then you're helping support on a tackle. Just quick. Hands, hands in. And then is able to shed that block. Next play, lined up uh, <clears throat> inside the tackle here. And this is similar. And he lines up all over the uh, the formation, but he actually lined up at 3-tech and even a little bit of 5-tech for the Rams. I think he's going to play some nose with the Giants' as depth. But again, in this zone, get his hands underneath. And then just shed that block. Read. Shed. We're there. We're meeting the back at the line of scrimmage for a tackle. And it's, I know he's you know he had an injury last year, but it's it's encouraging that he had some really good film versus the Bengals in the Super Bowl. Here versus the Cardinals, running zone. See how see how sixty five. I know this camera's in the way. But watch his pads pop up. And that's all from just that arm strength, that hand strength. Just bam, pops his pads up. Able to shed and get his arm involved in the tackle. Like stopping the back from making a cutback. And he does that con pretty fairly consistently. Here lined up on the guard versus the 49ers. They're going to pull away from him. And this is where you just see smart football. Immediately reads the play, reads the pull, gets down the line, and again, joining up for a gang tackle. Quickly reads it, gets in this gap, go, tackle. Here we're going to see him on the back side of zone. I'd, I'd like him to get more flat down the line on this. But you see. See how quick he's reading those zone steps from the 49ers? I mean, he's reading it faster than Aaron Donald, 91. Again, I'd like him to get a little more flat down the line. Trent Williams may have held a little bit or tried to do a slingshot move. I'd like him to get a little more flat down the line. But you also see some bully in this too. All right, if you're gonna hold me, I'm just gonna tackle you, Trent Williams, who again is best left tackle in the game. 
just quick get down, try and chase that hip of the guard. So just quickness, good I good job IDing the run front, which is big. You know, as, as misdirection becomes so much more key. I know that's not misdirection, the zone, but just having good eyes for that type of stuff is really going to do him well. Here he's going to be on the front side of zone. Getting up in the pads of Jonah Williams. Playing his gap. But again, good eyes. Mixon, you want to cut? All right, I'm controlling the block. I'm here. All right, you want to bounce it back out? I'm able to control the block with my hands and disengage and, again, help with the tackle. So just consistent, consistent good eyes with stuff like that. Here, uh... Now, he does struggle with some double teams. Now, this isn't that example of it. But center goes to get some help and does get him on there. And this, again, this is the Cardinals, kind of an inferior offensive line. Just good fight to get off this block and help with a tackle. But if he gets true double teams, he's not his best. Because, again, he's all about working that hand strength and kind of steering the block. As you're going to see here. And the hand fight isn't great. Like he's not really great at countering. And we're going to see that mostly show up in the pass rush. But you can see here like a, a true double team. And again he's getting driven back and pancaked. So that's when he kind of struggles is those true double teams. Or if you get him against like an elite top, uh, like run blocking tackle like a Kemaquanu or somebody. Um... It's foul. So now in the pass rush game. So we did a film breakdown on on Raheem Nunez Roches, uh, who didn't have that pass rush ability. And again, never want to confuse Ashawn Robinson as a pass rushing defensive tackle, but he does have some ability, and it's the same way he wins in the run with hand strike and then bull rush. We see here hand strike, get leverage, and he's able to push the pocket back into the quarterback. Like he does have that pocket pushing, which is what you kind of want out of you, out of your rotational defense alignment. Is that ability to push the pocket? I know he started for the Rams with the Giants. He would most likely be some depth. Going to see it again here on this play action. Just get off the ball, get into his chest, and keep those feet driving on this bootleg. Here, lined up on the tackle on the inside, four eye. Going to face the guard. Again, get some momentum, forward lean, land those hands. Keep the feet driving, getting a hand on Joey, on Joey B. Here again versus the 49ers. Now what you're going to see here is that he needs to have some better like hand counters. Like He, he doesn't disengage well. Like, this is great. Try and work these hands off of you. But he basically only works the bull rush. Like, like you got him off balance here. Try and fight hands off of you. Here, this next play. Versus, again, versus the guard on the 49ers. Like, this is great. Get good leverage. But work those hands off you. And his hands just kind of stay in the chest and he tries to work the bull rush. But again, if you... If he's able to like work those hands, break hands off of him, he should be like the one getting the credit for that sack. You know, and say the other guy's not there, Jimmy G is able to get the ball out because of a half a second more that he had because he didn't fight hands off of him. So again, you're just gonna see that after the bull rush, he doesn't really have much as a pass rusher. So like here where the bull rush doesn't win, he's just sitting there. Playing his gap, playing hands, and ends up getting put on his ass. And then, obviously, with someone like that, the bull rush, the forward lean, they're going to get beat by the snatch and trap, which is what happens here. Like, good forward lean, but if you're leaning too much, good players are just going to dump you and sit on top of you. So, and again, that's what he relies on. So, that's like, that's got to be the part of the scouting report is facing him as a pass rusher. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Check out the other free agent film breakdowns on the playlist. Assuming this is going on Talking Giants because the Giants signed them, hopefully. Um, 
yeah, like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff, uh, podcasts, all that. Basically, everything you need as a Giants fan is on this channel. So, appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Let's go Big Blue.